is not too far off from a retirement home. Election, we're going to open a retirement home for members of the People's National Party. Can you imagine the same set? The same set of people that was a wrecking crew that wrecked this country for 18 years. They can't find nobody. They take up all sorts of people. Right here in East Portland. Right here in East Portland. You have one. Him is my friend. You know the good thing about it. You see this glasses that I'm wearing. He prescribed it. But he never prescribed the color. I want you not to go up here and now to tear down the public address system. The sound crew. Hear me now. Let us get down to some serious business. Quiet and listen to me. I want you to listen. We have been pulling crowds that have never been seen before at political events in this country. Them can't say that I lie. You see, I can't come. And when I count the crowd up at arena, I count 1.2 and I stop. Stop counting. Last night, quiet. Last night I attempted to count. I when I reach 300,000, I had to stop count. Your Worship, the Mayor of Kingston, St. Andrew, and next member of Parliament for Western Kingston. My colleague on the platform, the, the Member of Parliament for West Portland, Darrell Vaz, and the next member of Parliament for East Portland, Mr. Lee. What a bam bam in a port and told you tonight. You see the crowd of man living last night? And now we come a port Antonio and we see the crowd down here in Portland. And you never have to do like what Sister P and the PNP do. Everywhere them go. Them rent a crowd and carry the crowd with them. But what we do in a Labour Party under the new Bolognese Prime Minister, Andrew Hodes, 
We don't have to rent the crowd. We go to the crowd. So I said to you, I'm not talking long tonight. But I said to you, the Jamaica Labour Party has started an ambitious program of rebuilding the Jamaican economy. You know, I watch TV tonight on the news. I soon come back, soon come back, soon come back. Man, I can finish telling you a little story now. I watch on TV tonight. And you know, every day I realize how more hypocritical the PNP is. And the PNP is being supported by a lot of other hypocrites all across. Some of them in the news media too. Some of them call themselves news analysts. But you see these young people in this crowd, watch out when you hear about the news analysts them. When last you ever hear of an impartial news analyst named Lambert Brown, or named Garnet Roper, our name Reverend Ronnie Twits. When Ronnie Twits come on the radio program a morning time, first thing come on like a saint, and him say prayers first. And after him done with the prayers, source of politics and source of lie for the rest of the three hours on the program. I am tonight calling upon Ronnie Twits now that the Prime Minister has announced an election, I said to Ronnie Twitt, do the decent thing and re resign your post as a talk show person because you are nothing but a mouthpiece and a propaganda mouthpiece for the People's National Party. and everything all of a sudden them jump on JDIP the Jamaica Development Infrastructure Project every project that the PNP had there was overruns the last one from Ocho Rios to Port Antonio that roach that only cost six billion dollars it ended up with a bill they sent us a bill for 16 billion dollars and we're going to try to settle for about 12 or 13 billion dollars which will still be over 100 percent overrun and with all of that part of the road broke with our white hall what a bunch of people